double match. And this match will pit Italy against Great Britain here in Las Vegas. And we'll see some other world-class archers taking the stage here as Laura Longo, Marcella Tonioli lead Katya D'Agostino onto the stage here in Las Vegas. Everybody performs on a stage in Las Vegas, including <laughs> the archers. Team Italy got here by beating the Australians in the quarterfinals by six points and then dropped a five-point decision to Team USA. It's Marcella Tonioli in the middle, Laura Longo on the right, and Katya D'Agostino on the left. Those two ladies on the right, Marcella Tonioli and Laura Longo, very experienced and very talented as they acknowledge the crowd here at South Point Hotel and Casino. And here's a good look at the team from Great Britain, Andrea Gales, Naomi Jones, and Nicola Simpson. Gales, Jones, and Nicola Simpson will be sharding at target number two today. 24 arrows conducted Simpson, quite a story, 56 years old mm. and still competing at this level, Crispin. I think she's the, uh, I think one of the only grandmothers that holds records, <laughs> uh, international records, world records on the archery circuit in the uh, nowadays. Uh, but, I mean, we had a really great team um, from Team Great Britain here. Actually, the coach of Team Great Britain in the coach's box is Naomi Fulkart. She's an Olympian for the British team. And Team Italy also has a pretty strong team. That's the great thing about this sport. You see competitors at all different ages. You might have somebody in their teens mm -hmm. competing against somebody in their 50s. Mm -hmm. Watching the para archers, it's just a great sport that so many people can take, take part in. And there's a 10 to start things off for Great Britain. So we can see that uh, in these targets, there's a very small ring that constitutes the 10 ring. And we used to have an outer 10 and an inner 10, but we've got these new targets now that only have the smaller inner 10 for the compound shooters. Ten. Makes it a little bit more difficult for some compound shooters because they've had to readjust how they aim at the target. Some people have had dots that only fill in the, uh, what used to be 10 ring for the recurves. But now that there's a, such a small portion of the target that they're trying to hit, they've had to, um, there we go, they've had to readjust how they aim at the target. And it has started to shake up things a little bit on the compound side of the uh, competition. It looks like shooting at a quarter. It's smaller than a quarter. It actually looks like a dime. Laura Longo. Nine open for Italy. Starting things off for Italy. Laura, 23 years old, ranked fourth in the world. Now watching her teammate, D'Agostino, who's 24 years old and ranked 49th in the world. And going for her first medal in world competition. Nine. Another nine. Both of those arrows a little low, so. World team champion, Marcello Wondering if the uh, third shooter, Tonialli. Tony Oli, 25 years old. Will shoot low as well. I doubt it. We'll see what happens. Nine. Right. Oh, out to the right. So Great Britain off to a two-point advantage, two-arrow advantage midway through the first end. They beat Mexico in the quarterfinals by eight points and then fell to Russia by four points in the semifinals. Nine. And a nine, nine right there. So toughs are ten to okay. t tens are tough to come by. This one uh, has um, it, it's really tough for compound archers now, especially with that aiming. But uh, just to hit that really really small ring for the ten, nine. it can it can uh, start to play with your head under high pressure situations. But uh, if anybody can do it, uh, well, these two teams can. Simpson with a nine, so it's been three nines in a row after two tens to start the first end for Great Britain. They took a two-point lead midway through this first end. A little bit of a shaky nine. shot, and that's a that's a nine for Andrea Gales. Tranquilamente, 
Ten. Ten points for Team Italy. Laura Longo trying to start a comeback for Italy. Don't hurt yourselves applauding up there. As they were down long. by <laughs> two arrows midway through the first end. But picked up a point right there. Now D'Agostino. Nine. With a okay. nine. Just a little low. So a ten here. And they're tied up after the first end. Yes. But easier said than done. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> of course, Tony Oli, very capable. As you see her peering Beautiful. through the site. Dieci, nove, otto, sette, the countdown sei, from her coach. And she lets it fly, and it's a nine. So it's a one arrow advantage for Great Britain after the first end. But again, it's only one point, so it's very uh, possible for Team Italy to come back and take this. But Team Great Britain is another strong competing team. So we'll see what happens in the next uh, three ends. But as you can see here, all of the archers are shooting fat arrows so that uh, they can get as close to cutting those lines as possible. Whereas with the recurve archers we saw um, thin outdoor arrows being used. So it's a one big difference between um, the recurve and the compound is uh, a lot more recurvers uh, aren't afraid to shoot with thin arrows in the indoor circuit. The women's compound team bronze medal match. Again, it's Italy taking on Great Britain. And you know, if you just watch it, this sport for the first time, it looks pretty simple, but it's a very technical sport. Especially with the compound. The compounds are, are very sniper-like. They're very, um, they're very precise. They have to be really precise. They have magnifying scopes on their sights. They've got levels, bubble levels on their sights. A release, a mechanical release aid that holds onto the string. And they've got so a peep sight in their, in their string. Laura Longo getting a little confused with the timing signals there. Yeah, with the pulleys and the cables that you see on these compound bows, you are talking about a very technical piece of equipment as Lara Longo. Good shot of her. Nine. And a nine, a little just low. a little bit low. Like her last uh, first shot. Previous first shot, I should say. And we can see also from the compound archers, they're not as wide of a stance as we just previously saw. They don't have such a wide stance like some of the recurve archers do. Ten. That's a ten, cutting the line. Very good shot from D'Agostino. That's where that fat arrow comes into play. Exactly. Now Tonioli. Tonioli. We can also see that there is no clicker on the bow. Um, all the compound archer has to do is either wait for the release to fire. Nine. It's a nine in the same hole as the first one. And that is a big difference between recurve and compound. They do use that release. Mm -hmm. And that makes the the uh, action of the releasing the string a lot more consistent than using your fingers. And the compounds also just draw to a single draw length so that uh, you can pull back against what's called the wall. Good shot. It's a 10. Wait, 10. You can pull back against uh, something called a wall and your arrow's not going to go any further back. Whereas mm -hmm. a recurve, that's why we need to reuse the clicker. But again, the compound is a much more precise bow than the recurve, which is why they've uh, only given them that small. Wait, shot. 10. Almost, almost, almost a, ten. a 10. That's why they've given them that such small 10 ring to shoot at because of how precise these bows are. I'd say half shot. I could be wrong. Oh, really? Andrea Gales. Sorry. <laughs> Andrea oh, shot. beautiful she shot. Inside out. Inside out 10, which means that that arrow is pretty much not touching any line from the inside of the, of the scoring ring. So Great Britain breaks on top by two points, 85-83 overall. And Ten points. Tony Oli, well, or excuse me, Laura Longo. Longo. Laura Longo answers with a 10 of her own. So following the great match between the Russian men and the men from Team USA, we've got a great one going on here on the bronze medal match between Italy and Great Britain. Now Tony Oli with the final arrow for the Italian team here on the second end. Nine. And Marcella on the line with a nine. It's, uh, 
tough Lost shot the there because it's, uh, it's very outside and not close to the 10 ring. So I think Tony Oli just has to relax and just do her shot. Three straight nines by the team from Great Britain, and they'll take this end and take See, the lead. Seeing the scope and the bubble level here. Ten. Great shot, 10. A great, great shot right there by Roman Andre Gales. The last seconds. medal back in 2008. I believe that was Naomi Jones. Oh, excuse me, that's Jones, yes. yes. This is Nicholas Simpson. Alpina, credo. The 56-year-old grandmother. Still competing in this sport and at a high level. Six and a really nice person to talk to as well. I imagine there isn't much she hasn't seen <laughs> in this sport. Ten. Ten points. Well and now Andrea Gills. My apologies, Andrea. With a great shot there. And this very experienced team. The youngest archer on this team, 27 years old. And so there you see the scores, 114 out of 120 possible points for the team from Great Britain. Oh. <coughs> and the Italian side, sizing up the situation. Yellow. A 10, 9, and a 9 to finish up that second end. So they're looking up a little bit at an uphill climb here as we head for the third end in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the middle of the team competition. Here at the World Archery Indoor Championship Finals. It might, I don't know. So after 12 arrows, there was a three point might, difference might between <laughs> these two teams. Not an insurmountable lead for Italy to make up. But Great Britain shooting very well right now. Dai, and putting some pressure Dentro, on their bene. friends from Italy. Adesso. This is the first match between these <laughs> teams in recent years. GBR in Italy by a total of three points at the halfway mark. Italy shooting Great first. Britain had won the silver medal back in 2009 in this event. But the athletes okay. competing today were not on that team, so it's a whole new roster. As Laura Longo takes the first shot of the third così, end. Così, va bene, va bene. And it's on the line. Looks like a 10. What do you think, Crispin? Uh, it might be called a nine asterisk. Um, but yeah, it does look like it's on the line. So okay. that uh, she would get that point. Now Diagostino. Nine. And it's hiding behind the fletching of the first arrow. So I can't really see that one. Uh, Tony Oli, remember if I, I, I just said, if she just relaxes and does her shot, then she'll start rolling out the tens because I know she can. Ancora mm. destra, March. She has come through in pressure yeah. situations yeah. before. Yeah. In yeah. fact, yeah. last year in Ogden, yeah. Utah, she beat Erica Anschutz in a shoot off. So mm. obviously, yeah. she has been yeah. tested. Yeah. Naomi yeah. Jones. Yeah. Confident look in her eye. Just, Just outside, out. yeah. It's about a centimeter out at two o'clock. Poco, poco, ma c'era a sinistra. Bon. Nicola Simpson, who won a World Cup gold medal in Croatia back in 2008. Nine. Just out at six. And was on the 2010 team that took a bronze medal in Shanghai. Andrea Gales now. Ranked 25th in the world. Oh, two millimeters Nine. out for Andrea. So Team Great Britain uh, bene, bene. avoiding Achisa. the 10 ring on that end, yeah. or on that pass of three arrows, but Team <laughs> Italy now up on the line, Laura Longo. With nine. a 10 on her first shot this end, now a nine. It's a nine, unfortunately. They've made up a little ground here in the third end, but there's still some more work to do as D'Agostino eyes it. They've got a lot more time. Nine points. Ancora due for D'Agostino. Alta due ancora. Antonioli 
He started out shooting recurve before converting to compound. Trying to finish this end up in nine. style Court and finishes this. with a nine. So five straight nines after that 10 by Jones to start this end. So they post 55 points here on this end. She's been off to the right quite a lot, uh, Antonio has, and so really hope she's moving that sight over or uh, realizing that Great different shot, lighting ten. could actually affect how you aim. That's a big shot by Naomi Jones right there. Puts her team in good position to win this end and build on that lead. As Simpson lines it up. Orange with a 10. Great shot. Is a 10 or 9 on the line, but spotters are calling it definitely a 10, seconds. so it's a good shot for Nicholas Simpson. Nine or better here, they win this end and build on that lead. And Andrea Gales has been very, very good today. Last medal back in 2008 when her team won the silver medal at the World Cup oh, event in Turkey. A nine right there, no, I mean, but it's enough to win the end and pick up another point. Exactly, and so now it's unofficially a four-point lead for Team Great Britain going into the final end. <laughs> so the Italian team in a bit of spot of trouble right here in Las Vegas. It would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Tony Oli, Longo, and Diagostino. So I believe the judge there was telling Italy they were having some uh, problems with almost getting yellow carded on that last end. What had happened is their first shooter, Laura Longo, stepped up to the line, and before her feet were planted straddling the line, her arrow point was already out of the quiver, and that's a yellow card. That's a potential yellow card, so I believe our judge here was trying to tell them that, you know, I'm, it's, it's getting really close and I'm going to be yellow carding you if I see that again. So <laughs> if um, we have to just watch Laura Longo and how her arrow is in relation to her quiver as she's stepping up to the line. Once again, if she plants her feet before the arrow comes out, it's legal. But if the arrow is out before her feet are planted, that is a big no-no. Can't do that. And she'll get called back to the line, four point lead uh, pack, over back past the one meter line. Italy shooting first, target number one. Final end so in the bronze medal match. She goes, she steps, goes there. That was very close again. I thought so, I was going to say. Yeah, so. Is that just her style? If, yeah, some people get really uh, antsy on the team round because they think that there's not enough time, where in actual fact, there's plenty of time. Ten. Ten. He had worked for uh, Tony only that time. Longo. Longo, excuse me. That's Diagostino. Who came in hoping to pick up her first medal in world competition. Nine. Just out at nine o'clock to the left. And Tony Oli again. I really hope that she gets off the right side of that target. Ten. There it is, a 10-point score on that arrow. It kind of looked like it surprised her a little bit, and she doesn't look very happy with it. Um, so that means that the shot was bad, but the, the bottom result line was good. is, yeah, yeah. Naomi Jones, just 27, unranked, just caught the but nine shooting time. well. Very high Seven. arrow from Jones on that shot. Now Nicola Simpson. Nine. Nine or oh, ten, too major. close to call. I, yeah, it's sitting about two millimeters outside of the ten ring. Gales, 10, ten points Gales on the line, but it's through. in. Great yep. leading by three with three shots to go. All three British archers have been strong today. But Italy getting two tens on their first three shots of this fourth and Shot. final end. Two arrows remaining for Italy. And a nine for Laura Longo. 
who walks away a little disappointed. Say, say, ten say. points for Giagostino. Final arrow, Tonioli. Ten would give them fifty-eight points out of a possible sixty. Ten points. What Good a great finish. shot by Marcella. So Tonioli finishing off strong. As did Diagostino. Three nines here will win the match for Great Britain. Nine. There's the first. That's, that's the first Good one. Shot. Then again, I mean, there's no arrows out in the seconds. eight ring here for Team Great Britain, so. It's, uh, I mean, just put them in the gold and you've got this medal. Ten, Great. Ten points. Good shot. And Not eight bad for a is it? <laughs> uh, eight points will win this for Team Great Britain. So, Andrea Gales just keeps it in the middle and they're good. Ice cream and brownies for Yay. everybody. <laughs> there you go. Ten Yay. points for Andrea Gales. Well done, guys. They finish it off in style okay. for the team from Great Britain doing a great job here today. Italy testing them, but Great Britain getting off to a lead early and never really looking back, keeping the pressure on. And the ladies from Great Britain are going home with a bronze medal. They're trying to make the grandkids happy, I suspect. Grandma bringing a bronze medal back home from <laughs> Las Vegas. You always have to bring some souvenirs home from Las Vegas for the family. Yeah, I think you do. Um, I think I've stopped bringing them home because I had weight limit issues. But uh, <laughs> definitely a medal is something you don't want to uh, go home without. 227 out of 240 for the team from Great Britain. And that's three arrows, three points better than Italy, which finishes with 224. So a three-point win for Great Britain. 227 to 224, the final count here in this bronze medal match in the women's compound team.